host Dan Jibalisco here from the Nerd Cave deep inside of one of these moons. I will not disclose which one at the present time, but what I'm here for now is to talk about, very briefly introduce, this book, Mastering Technical Mathematics 3rd Edition, which I have revised uh, from the original work by Norman Crowhurst. This is the Amazon page for that book, and I will provide a link to the Amazon page for that book in case you are interested in it. Uh, it, go, it starts out with very elementary mathematics and then proceeds to rather complicated mathematics. And here's a little sampler of the table of contents. It simply starts with addition, subtraction, multiplication, things like long division, simple algebra, calculating percentages. Then it gets into quadratic equations, mathematics relating to mechanics, and on and on and on. And um, a lot of this material was originated by Norman Crowhurst, uh, and some of it has been provided by yours truly. What I'd like to show you now, though, is another view of my general neighborhood, and then an example of one of the illustrations in this book from chapters, chapter 6. It's figure 6-11. It shows how the old systems of units compare with the new ones. Old meaning things like inches, feet, yards, furlongs, miles. None of it ever seemed to make any sense, and we still use that a great deal here in the United States of advertising. What in the world is a gill? Do you ever hear about that? A gill is apparently a half a cup. I've never heard of that. Uh, well, I must have if I revised the book and looked at this illustration, but I what I did with a lot of the original art by Norman Crowhurst was immortalize it digitally because a lot of people really thought that his artwork was excellent. And this is an example, actually, of one of the figures of War du Poix weight. One sixteenth of an ounce is a dram. Money. Four farthings equals a penny. 20 shillings equals a pound. That's in England, I guess. I guess that still holds. All different multiples. But in the newer method, often called the metric system, well, here in America, we divide a dollar up into 100 cents. That makes a certain amount of cents. In France, 100 cent times equals one franc. Linear measure, 100 centimeters equals a meter. And, and you see how... These all are decimal multiples, and that is explained in this book along with a variety of other things. I'll show you some other illustrations that I uh, went to great pains to immortalize digitally because they were originally only on paper, and I had to get a hold of the first edition because the second edition reproduced it by photocopying and degraded the resolution. So as you can see... These aren't particularly bad uh, renditions, considering that they were scanned from paper. And that is what you will find in the third edition. And having immortalized it, uh, you will also, ha because I have immortalized it, you will also find it in the fourth edition, should that edition ever come out. And my editor has, in fact, begun to talk to me about that possibility. Don't you just love this cover? Does it make you hungry? Now, see, I'm not terribly fond of chocolate, so I don't really have a problem with this cover, but a lot of people, I'll bet they... Oh, no! But this book has actually re, uh, received some pretty good reviews, so go to Amazon, check it out. If you, if you want it, buy it. I guess they'll let you return it if you don't like it. Stan Jibalisco, signing off for now, from deep in outer space in a nerd cave in one of these three moons. Your mission, should you decide to accept it.
is to figure out which one. Until next time, so long.